why don't you start by setting up a little bit of the premise um, because it's pre it's pretty unusual, um, and I think audiences will be pretty interested in what you're you're doing. Well, thank you so much. Um, the pre I mean, it's it's in simple words, is the story of a woman in a single mother in the mid '60s in San Francisco trying to make a life for herself when the resources and the choices available to her are little because the system is set up for her to not succeed. And so it's a single mother, a very smart woman, trying to make a life for her and her son. And knowing and understanding that at every corner she will be, the doors will be closed to her and she will have to figure out yet another way to understand a system that is not for her. Yeah, it focuses a lot of on um, all the struggles and injustices that she she faces uh, as an immigrant, as a woman. The, the, the script and the story attack so many issues. And we knew that going in, it was a very ambitious script. But at the same time, the meta-ness of the movie of, her, Lisette, first time Latina director, and me, also Latina, trying to come up with try, trying to come up with all the resources and figure out how to do each shot each day was was mirroring the struggle of Selena in certain ways. And I think the I, I won't speak for Lisette, but she said it previously. This all happened and was born from a conversation she had with her mother about how the same struggles her mother was having back then are still relived in certain ways today, and how the through line and all the issues we speak in the movie, you know, women rights, abortion rights, it comes down and it boils down to the fact of having agency over your body and agency over your choices and how the reality of the matter is a lot of people, a large population, specifically women in this story don't have that. And that's why we, the script is also so important because it breaks that fourth wall. It has, it has a little thing where it has all the dramatic that's happening in her emotional life and how she's going through the motions. And at the same time, you have these beats where she will turn to the audience and just level with them. And, and that for me was the biggest attraction of the script as an actor to get to dive into such an emotional arc of going from 18 years old, which I don't think I will ever be able to play again, to a woman in her mid 30s to, to early 30s was such an incredible and challenging. And it also allows you to really get to know a character so much better. But then on top of that, being able to break the fourth wall and in a way level with what I think personally is happening and have that intimate moment with the audience was something that was really, really special to me. And I mean, it's interesting that you, you touched on the fact that women are still dealing with a lot of these issues today. And, you know, of course, abortion is really in the news today. When we were filming that ending and, and Liza and I turn up the radio and we hear that verdict. It was such an emotional experience at a very personal level. You have to understand, like, the last thing I expected to happen was to be releasing this movie and having that be the backdrop. Like, it's, it's insane that we're still having that conversation. And a verity and a trial that that happened so long ago that has been in like that has been going on forever now is to be debated. This law passing is just it's I trip up. I can't really like it, the anger I feel is, is too big and um, the frustration I feel is too massive. And, you know, it's completely ridiculous that it's just going back to exactly the message we were trying to send. You know, every time we feel like we get ahead a little bit that you just get slapped in your face and you're going backwards again. So where we're at, it's, it's, it's pretty treacherous. It's, it's pretty scary sometimes. Yeah. And the movie does this pretty interesting thing with sort of teaching different history lessons from different perspectives. And, you know, as you said, breaking the fourth wall. Um, Talk a little bit about the decision to do that and why why you thought that was important from a, a narrative perspective, but also from you as an actor. I think, you know, I didn't write it. It was Lissette. I did, you know, get the role of executive producer, which I had never had before. And I enjoyed it because there was so much of the creative I didn't know I could be a part of as an EP. And, and she really allowed that collaboration. We had extensive conversations for me that allowed a connection with myself and the character and the audience, um, a way deeper understanding and kind of space for that frustration to kind of live in and have a, have a space for it to, to exist. Because a lot of the time these issues are happening and, and you, or you'll watch a movie and you'll see the character go through the motions, but to see the character go through the motions and at the same time level with you is something, you know, that I find really cool. It's one of the most incredible devices and, and being able to do that we were really hoping to not come off as preachy or pretentious, rather 
hey, this is what's going on. And it's insane. And it makes your skin crawl. Can you believe? It was more of a try and level with someone than, than inform, you know? That's interesting. Um, there are a lot of really tough scenes in the, the film. And I imagine as an actor for you, it must have been challenged to, to hit all those different notes. Um, what for you was the biggest challenge uh, and maybe the most rewarding scene? Okay, so I, this was a very um, all in all beautiful and challenging film. We were living kind of a mirror of the character. It was, we were, had so many obstacles and so many challenges. We were working with very few resources and finding resources was incredibly difficult. That's why the opening scene kind of gives us a hall pass because we tell you right away, listen, we could barely make this movie. I break the fourth wall to tell you, and this is why, and we're trying to make the movie to show you. So there was so much meta-ness that behind the scenes, we're always like, oh my God, here we go with a Selena again. Cause you know, we were trying to make our days every day. So it was a, also a very, very short shoot. We'd only shot for like, I want to say 18 days or less. And it was such an ambitious script that I kudos to, to Lisette because she, her unwavering belief in this story was what got the whole crew to really hustle and, and really come together. So for me, every day was particularly difficult dealing with a subject matter as you know, abortion rights and women rights and having a friend go through that as a woman, it's its incredibly difficult. It hits quite a chord and a nerve. It's not something I'm not used to, I haven't seen before. So in that way, obviously not in that way, because I didn't live in the sixties, but going through that and doing the research and understanding what it was for women back then um, and understanding that it's still going on today was incredibly harrowing and incredibly difficult. We lived in this, we were shooting at this, um, abandoned hospital and we were shooting in like a real ward for that. So it was really, really, um, I don't know what the right word for this because difficult doesn't even catch it. However, it allowed us to be in that space. It allowed us to really drop in to the misery that that situation is and kind of drop into that. So, yeah, it was challenging, but at the same time, beautiful because we were able to go there.